Hello, the new week. Uh, again, I got sick over the weekend. I would have to say that it probably was not the roommate because she was sick for a while, but I think it's sort of like, duh, that when I went into town with the boyfriend and his sister and her two kids that are, well, below the age of teenagers, but over, whatever, snotty little kids. I don't mean like arrogant little kids. I mean like they're full of diseases and germs, and everyone knows how that goes. And so I think that's what I got sick from. Because we've been out in the, you know, this weather before, and I haven't gotten sick, but um, the nephew was really, well, the boyfriend's nephew, not my nephew. Boyfriend's nephew was really wanting to get, like, piggyback rides and, Wanted to be carried around and stuff, and he seems quite enamored with me. Um, nobody seems to be able to tell if it's specifically that he's enamored with any guy that's not his dad, or me specifically. I'm finishing up a daily real fast. So, uh, apparently last night I remember nothing of what happened. Nothing. <laughs> I remember watching Simpsons. And then I told the boyfriend this morning, I was like, what time did you get home last night? He's like, and told me the time, and I'm like, oh, you don't remember? I'm like, no, because I watched The Simpsons and went to bed. He's like, no, I came home at like 11, 10 o'clock, 10.30, and you were still sitting up watching television. I'm like, oh, I got passed out on the couch. No, you were awake. Maybe I did one of those weird bent hole passing outs. Apparently we were up till two talking too, so apparently my fever was so high that I didn't have any sort of, you know, cognizant, active recollection of the events. So I don't know if that's disturbing to him or not, but certainly disturbing to me, but I'm not dead. <laughs> I just feel like So yeah, I'm drinking some coffee because it seems to keep some of the coughing at bay. Drinking coffee to keep coughing at bay. I wonder that worked in Pokemon. Anyways, so yeah. The Saturday, or most of yesterday that I do remember during the day, I played a lot of Star Trek Online. I'm going to go into this right away. Because not only did I dink around on my ship on the on Friday, it was really cool. Um, I actually, parts of Saturday night and Sunday day, I actually got into Star Trek and was actually doing some of the newer content, not just dinking around on a new ship. Um, and I was down on New Romulus, and I like that place. I like it a lot. The general chat's full of, you know, entitled little bitches, but... <laughs> what do you expect, you know? I mean, I don't... I call myself a Trekkie. I love Star Trek and all of its things. Other people are playing that game because, well, it's free and it's not WoW. So, but since it's free, they feel entitled to all the free things because they don't understand how the market works because either they don't... they haven't ever been involved with people in the market or... You know, whatever. When I say people involved in the market, like, my mom was a bookkeeper. Bookkeeper for companies, and I think she did something for a state government at one point. Anyways, so, yeah. And so it's like, I, I kind of have an idea how budgets work, specifically for governments, and this works for companies, too. Um, you know, nothing in this world is free. Nothing. You know, it. you can distill it down to the point where I have it and I give it to you and I don't expect anything in return. That's about as free as you can get. But if you distill it all the way down to, you know, this took energy to do and, you know, spending energy on things while converting one energy form to another, right? Potential kinetic energy. 
if spending energy or converting one energy or converting one thing to another works as cost, then converting energy works, right? That was a horrible sidetrack. Anyways, back to Star Trek. I like New Romulus. I'm not in a fleet. I was in playing for so long, my fleet dissolved. Um, yeah, it's really fickle. Like, three months went by, and my fleet dissolved, and it was like 400, 300 people, so I wasn't necessarily sure what happened there. Thank God I don't have too terribly much invested in it. I mean, I love it to death, but, no. Uh, all the stuff I invest is for me, because technically relying on other people is kind of a, people tend to, especially with the anonymity of the internet, tend to let you down a lot. So, yeah, I can't figure out, because I don't have any video recording software for my computer, all I can do is take a crap ton of screenshots. Uh, so, I don't know. There's Windows Movie Maker, and maybe I can use the screenshots I've taken that I have posted to Facebook, and I can just sort of like do a slideshow video, and I can post up here, because, well, I ain't paying for fraps. And there's probably someone out there who thought, well, you don't have to pay for it, you can just always go torrent it. I'm like, I won't torrent things either. <coughs> Unless the thing was originally free. You know. Like, once I got a torrented version of the Bad Romance CD. Just a, you know, and then once I realized that it was torrented, I was like, uh oh. And I went and bought it because I felt guilty for having such a thing. Uh. I love our ring today. So anyway, yeah, New Romulus. It's got these little hubs for dailies. And it's really, it's fun for me because I like doing a lot of busy work. There are people in there that just don't like any busy work. And they don't, they feel slighted to have to do busy work all the time. I'm like, seriously, go do something else. There are multiple things to do in this game. You don't have to do this one thing over and over and over. People complain about being burnt out on MMOs, like WoW, and Star Trek Online, and Star Wars, I guess, for, an, you know. They complain about being burnt out, but they're the ones that are voluntarily doing it. They're burning themselves out, and they don't even notice. They don't, you know, because they rationalize it by they have to do this if they want to be the best. And they want to be competitive. No, they don't. They don't realize that because competition has been so ingrained into at least American society that you have to compete everywhere you go for everything. I was I was killing some Romulans, you know, some Tal Shiar thingies up in the Valstan Canyon Fields, whatever, Canyon area, on New Romulus. And this guy walks up and he starts taunting me. I'm like Really? You know, complaining to me that I stole his Romulans. I'm like, dude, you were halfway across this subzone when I started shooting at him. Because, but I saw him first. And I'm just, you really got to get your head on straight. So, yeah. Um, my hair is a mess because, well, I've been sick and not keeping up on it. So, oh, I made a French loaf bread from the Pillsbury thing. Mm, time to get some, time to go take a look at it. I mean, I baked it. It turned out brown and stuff. It's nice and round. Ooh. That's good. Oh, that's tasty. Highly recommend it, by the way. Um... Oh, right. I should probably tell y'all what it is. But it's actually really cool. It's a Pillsbury Crusty French Loaf. It's actually really cool. It's really good. I mean, if you just want bread, you know. 
because it takes about 27 minutes to cook, and you don't have to do too terribly much of anything. You just pop it out of the thing, you put it on a cookie sheet that you sprayed with some cooking spray, and then, you know, you put the thing, and it says seam down, and, you know, you find one. There's a seam on there somewhere. Oh, there it is. I didn't actually see it, so I guessed. And then it says cut half inch deep holes or slits. As you can see, that's what I did. I cut them deep. And then I baked it for 27 minutes at 350. Which is actually really fun because, you know. That three, you know, because you can like watch a whole news broadcast or at least a good, decent television show during that. You know, it's like watch the world. You know, put that thing in the oven, watch the world news. Um, or you know, a little bit. No, not full half an hour, but yeah. So you do that, and you got yourself a loaf of French bread. Not the greatest French bread, but it's hot, <laughs> and the thing's pretty cheap. Um, I'd actually do a little, <laughs> ah, that was soldier to the wasteland, stirred up without me wondering, stupid me, I bought them off the iTunes store without having MP3s, so I need to like replace all the AACs with MP3s, so it's like, ah, and it doesn't automatically find them. Hillsbury. Crusty. Oh. Anyways, so yeah. I've been having a lot of fun on Star Trek. Um, really, it's, you know, I like this new ship and kind of some of their new systems. I know this doesn't make much sense because I'm jumping around a lot, but hell, I'm sick. So, my brain is even worse than usual. But, yeah, we've been having terrible rain today. I don't want to say terrible rain, because I like it. It's pouring down rain, and I like watching people, you know, freak out. They're just, ah, they're running everywhere. I'm like, come on. You should really get used to this, people. Cannot buy it from Amazon? Hmm. Weird. Anyways, our store carries it. That's why I think it's really cool. Do 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 crusty French bread. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. It's a bunch of books. And we went the wrong Amazon. All right, I'll look for it later. It might not actually be on there. They may not sell food. Especially slightly perishable refrigerated stuff like that. This is really good. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, so I'm going to... Like, hello, do you do? Um, all right, I'll let this one go, because getting kind of dark. Yeah, can't really get any decent lighting going because, yeah, that's a dark cloud. That's rain coming in. Yay, rain! So, yeah. Anyways, so there'll be a couple more things before Thanksgiving. I'm not necessarily sure I might do one on Thanksgiving because the sister's having the stuff at her house this weekend, or this Thursday. Um, so, that's that. Um, yeah. And I'm not necessarily sure. I could probably make a video over at her place, but I'm not sure if I can upload it because she lives kind of out. I say she lives in the sticks. She says she lives in a neighborhood. Just because you have a house next to you doesn't necessarily mean, you know, just because you have like 12 houses next to you, you know, and you live in a neighborhood doesn't mean that neighborhood isn't in the middle of from um, nowhere. Mm. 
really good. Anyways, so yeah, I will talk with you all later. I'm going to finish this bread. That's good bread. I'm going to buy another one. Or sex or something. So yeah, toodles.